today. Uh, we, we are focusing on the main outcomes of the second general annual general meeting of Inner Network Wales, uh, which focus, focused on discussing about how to improve, harmonize European wife, wildlife monitoring. This uh, presentation will be coordinated by, by presentation of the uh, European Observatory of Wildlife by Curly College, thank you, Katie. Ratio from University of Sasar. Very quickly, because I, I know that I, we already presented uh, this before, but for those of you that are new, uh, I want to, to explain the main aims of Inegway project. So this is a framework contract run by I consortium for the, the European Food and Safety Authority. And the main aim is to compare by valid information on abundance and distribution on wildlife species and distribution, following harmonized methods and filtered by standard of quality. We promote and coordinate the generation of uh, new data, and uh, we try to enhance the network of wildlife professionals to support wildlife monitoring and data collection activities at European level. This is why we are here. So far, uh, Inetway has focused on wild population data, Called, uh, particularly for, for mammals, but not only. Now we are starting to work with diseases. The main reason was the outbreak of African swine fever in wild boar in Europe. So we need population data about this species, but we also transferred data to EFSA about uh, wild birds that are relevant to uh, avian flu, uh, data uh, collected by international organization. We are working with uh, mammal species, particularly ungulates and carnivores. We are depicting and characterizing the interface at the uh, wildlife livestock uh, uh, level in, uh, in Europe. And we are also contributing by exploring uh, alternatives or complementary, better complementary uh, approaches to, uh, to collect uh, data. So from the very beginning, we developed the standards for data collection. We reviewed methodology and proposed a number of density estimation protocols. Then we started to collect data to elaborate the repository. Also, a continuous activity is mapping and developing models for species abundant distribution. And this is useful for risk assessment for EFSA about diseases, but also for ecological studies, management and conservation of wildlife. So for us, developing the standards is a very important improvement so, uh, so as uh, developing a network of uh, professional working in a harmonized way, in a harmonized way at European level. And next, we are developing standards for for disease. So, just focusing on the on the topic we are uh, presenting today, I think I don't need to explain what integrated monitoring is. Probably, from the point of view of biologists, is when you incorporate diseases to population data. And for the point of view of veterinarians is when you incorporate wildlife population data to diseases. This is what we normally call integrated wildlife monitoring. However, even when this concept is relatively recent, I think it's already old fashioned and we must refer to wildlife monitoring. We are both aspects are integrated, but not only. And they are integrated as part of the same. They are not different uh, variables that you measure in parallel, but you do not integrate. And this must integrate other factors under the one health approach. On all these factors, as commented, should be completely integrated, not run as separate collection of data that never is matches, never is really integrated and used in a uh, common way. So to contribute to improve the European capacities for a common harmonized and reliable wildlife population monitoring, we uh, brought together a number of experts and different stakeholders to discussions in October 2021 to online discussions. So the representat representativity of uh, Europe uh, was uh, was good. You can see here in this map, but also uh, the representation of different disciplines and different institutions. So the, uh, the statements that uh, were 
un uh, underlying all discussion all the time, where that wildlife monitoring is an inherent part of the process of, co of coordinated and informed wildlife decision taking. And the factors that uh, determine wildlife distribution, abundance, and their impacts, including this is spread and bound by national borders. I think the sample of uh, African swine fever and wild boar is perfect. So I will start by a kind of uh, graphical abstract of this after this meeting. So harmonized national and international wildlife monitoring and coordinated decision making based on this monitoring in Europe is very far away in the horizon. So we need to develop interinstitutional and intersectoral coordination at international level. We have also to promote best approaches to wildlife population monitoring and to analyze this data for further decision making based on scientific knowledge and interdisciplinarity. So it's time to bring wildlife, proper wildlife uh, management in Europe for public and environment health benefit. The outcome of this meeting uh, are summarized in a report, which you can find at our website, but also at EFSA website. It's open. It's an open document. And this document, uh, which is the basis of the presentation of, of, of my next slides, uh, we present a basic set of, of actions which are feasible in a medium term uh, and which are recommended with aim to contribute to the foundation of harmonized Euro wild wildlife monitoring framework. So the first uh, recommendation is a general one, is uh, to call the attention that at European level, as they are doing in other regions of the, of the world, like North America, they are doing really well, for instance, in Scandinavia. Uh, we urgently need to define the foundation of modern wildlife management and what our objectives are. And then obviously what do we need to monitor for that. Uh, I think uh, we all are aware that uh, wildlife and conflict management today mainly deals with not threatened species, but with common species, including many game species. Uh, in these cases, the relevance of the human factor is especially relevant to develop sustainable policies. So we are not speaking only about species of real interest for for conservation, all of them are of interest for conservation, but especially that are threatened. So uh, the uh, the main conclusion about this point uh, in this uh, meeting was that uh, European experts must develop the foundation of modern wildlife management adapted to the European context. We have to set common wildlife management and monitoring activities, even when every region, country has its own specificities. We have to propose decision-making frameworks or to discuss about, about them. There is not a only framework that is appropriate for every situation. Uh, uh, what is important is also in a realistic way to agree on a roadmap of actions and commitments that can be materialized in a medium term perspective. So we are pushing from in the wild about this to, to the European uh, Commission. Another point is also a very basic point that was uh, identified is that uh, there still are relevant gaps in knowledge related to wildlife ecology, epidemiology, and management that need to be addressed. Just to provide an example, there are important gaps knowledge about migratory birds. So a detailed list of uh, these uh, aspects uh, that need to be known in more details are presented in this document. The third point presented in this uh, meeting was that uh, institutional decision must be coordinated both vertically from the local to international European institution and horizontally. I mean, among different interest sectors. Uh, and this is the only way to generate a effective and collective action. Um, 
we believe that this must be lit from the very top by transdisciplinary European Union you know, authorities. Fourth point is the, the need to change experience and capacities on wildlife data collection and decision making frameworks between countries. For that, uh, we really suggest, we believe that it's important uh, our standing committee uh, with different working groups uh, to be active and to participate as consultants to policy makers at European levels, level. Also, we need to coordinate the distribution of roles among uh, wildlife European authorities and different frameworks that uh, are some, some way participating in international and national monitoring. Yeah, here you can see the, the logos of uh, different samples. There are many. Uh, there are many different ecological variables that are being monitoring or are frameworks promoting the monitoring at European level that uh, and we can link uh, all each other. Next point is that uh, there was discussion about this. Is this is really a need or, or not? But uh, finally, we materialize this uh, conclusion, uh, and it is the need of developing specific legislation on wildlife management to provide an adequate framework to the question we raised before. As commented before, we need to coordinate wildlife management and much of these conflicts that we need to manage are associated with common species, which require inclusive approach uh, toward multiple stakeholders and considering different sociocultural scenarios. For that, also, there is need of specific legislation of framework uh, about uh, common uh, wildlife species and management, not only about conservation. We need also to provide support to uh, wildlife management, to our wildlife management transdisciplinary body authority at the European level, which should be able to establish data priorities uh, that really need the needs at the European level and to develop harmonized procedures and protocol for wildlife uh, monitoring, data format, data flow, data use, uh, etc. So all these points commented are beyond current, current directives, habitats and birds, which mainly focus on conservation aspects. They are really important. They uh, have been essential for uh, conservation at Europe. But I, we really believe there is need of something about some legislation about uh, the management of wildlife species. One point that is probably a uh, um, precedent to the European Observatory of Wildlife, which later Tan Credit is going to summarize, was that the need to develop an independent network of observation points with a long-term perspective in order to sustain international informal management to obtain a reliable trends of, of the populations. So this would require a careful design to become representative, should be the coordination to be centralized, it would need long-term funding and proper infrastructure. And this kind of approaches, very intensive in a, let's say, reduced number of study areas, uh, is perfect and complementary to uh, other data sources that normally are less reliable, but uh, can be obtained for large areas at lower cost. For instance, uh, hunting statistics, maybe others, but this is just one example. We also agreed that uh, training and particularly taking advantage of new information technology is very uh, important, uh, recommendable to overcome dispersed local monitoring efforts. So wildlife management requires support and training to facilitate the field design, data processing, and analysis to monitor wildlife. The European Observatory of Wildlife is working in this sense. Then uh, it is important because of the points you commented before that the management of common species has an important society, so socioeconomic component. So it's important to develop a communication and engagement strategy at European level. It is very well known by sociological studies that the effectiveness of wildlife policies 
are directly proportional to the acceptance by the public. So we need to develop scientific, but technical and legislative initiatives in this sense. And this should be complemented by communication and engagement strategy. Normally, our wellness management include options that are not very well accepted or and in many cases because they are not informed by the public. And this includes population control, in many cases, later control of, of different uh, animals, different species. And this is why adequate communication to, is important in this sense. So just to, to sum this uh, uh, presentation, uh, I would like to remark the idea that wildlife monitoring should be considered a unique context. It's not the fact that veterinary incorporate to what I am doing, if I am a biologist or of the country, but uh, to, to consider wildlife monitoring as a broad uh, a concept that uh, must be integrated uh, within the monitoring of uh, different uh, biological but also sociological uh, human etc uh, factors uh, only this way we can incorporate uh, wildlife monitoring to uh, the concept of one health uh, management so obviously Initial progress has been already done in Europe in this area. In some cases, it's more related to certain species or to certain group of species for which there are international co uh, committees working at the uh, European level. But in general, efforts still are dispersed and un uncoordinated. For instance, there are different data collection frameworks and projects uh, working independently. And at the end, they cannot share, they cannot uh, use and compare the, the information. So we need to define the objectives and a roadmap and to convert to generate a necessary collective action. This is the steps that we are promoting from uh, in the project. And particularly the European Observatory of Wildlife is a mean to, to do that. Step by step, progressively and consistently. This is the philosophy that you will see of the European Observatory of, of, of Wildlife. As commented, you can access to, to this uh, conclusion in this document. We are also going to release uh, very soon uh, different videos about the main outcomes of this annual general meeting in English. So if you, uh, you follow our website, uh, we also will announce in the social uh, net. Uh, hopefully these uh, videos will be available soon. And just to thank you for your participation in this online uh, seminar. And thank you to all partners uh, participating in, uh, in a great project, but also to many, many collaborators uh, that uh, are providing uh, data or are had been in, or had incorporated to the European Observatory of Wildlife. Many thanks to them.